Welcome to Storytime Pals. Subscribe to keep the stories coming. Hi everyone, it's your pal Amber. And your pal Vernon. And today we're gonna read for you Little Red Riding Sheep. <laughs> Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little girl in a red hood. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Arnold. Arnold, you're not a little girl. Well, technically, no. Um, but when I scrouch down, I get little. See? Uh, I fit on the page. No, I mean, you're not a girl. You're a sheep. A Heinschnicky sheep, to be exact. But the main character in this book isn't a sheep. <laughs> well, that's what all authors say. We sheep are usually just in the background, grazing and minding our own business. Boring. Sorry, you're just not what I'm writing. Oh, please. I'll be good. Oh, I love books. I just want to be drawn into this story. Get it? Drawn in? <laughs> oh, all right then. Oh, thank you. You won't be sorry. Once upon a time, there was a girl who lived in a deep, dark wood. <clears throat> um, excuse me, uh, I'm a smidgen afraid of the woods and of deep, dark things. <laughs> it would be nicer if I lived in a daisy-dotted meadow, or Idaho, maybe? I already drew the forest. Oh, uh, can I erase a tree or two? Uh, bring in some more light! Do you want this gig or not? <laughs> Sorry. Mad me. Uh, just a little sheep humor. <laughs> <sighs> One day, the girl's mother baked cinnamon buns and said... Oh, don't tell me. She said, eat these buns right now while they're fresh from the oven. Ahem. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. It's just that I haven't grazed since breakfast. Go, child, and take these to Grandmother, for she is ill. Oh, uh, let me guess. Granny lives in the woods, too? I'm okay with the woods, really, but I think this scene is too scary for readers. Maybe Granny could live in Palm Springs. Uh, sunshine, Chinese checkers, a nice lemon poppy cake. As she crossed the forest, the girl met a hungry wolf. Exactly why I don't like the woods. Hungry things with big teeth live in there. Uh, how about uh, if I meet a fairy godmother who grants wishes? This is not that type of story. Okay, got it. Uh, scary wolves in, fairy godmothers out. Listen, Eugene, uh, may I call you Eugene? Mm, yeah, why not? A suggestion? I have this friend, Einer. Uh, he's a muskrat and would be perfect as the wolf. He's a muskrat? Oh, wait till you meet him. Uh, Yoo-hoo, Einer! Einer, um, make your scary face. Go ahead. Oh, scary, right? Very. <laughs> the wolf looked at the girl and thought, what a nice plump mouthful. Oh. Plump? Me? Uh, it's all this fluffy fleece. Uh, I'm way overdue for a shearing. <laughs> Where are you going? To Luigi's. He's a great illustrator and can redraw me. He's right next door. <clears throat> uh, Yoo-hoo, Luigi! Need a favor? I'm about to be eaten by a wolf. Can you make me less appetizing? Come on up! <sighs> Ooh, look much better this time. <laughs> The wolf ran straight to Grandmother's house and knocked at the door. Oh, uh, just one more itty-bitty thing. If you don't have a granny for this story, I have this friend, Frankie, and she'd be great. She's won a granny award. And let me guess, Frankie is a... Warthog. Uh, Yoo-hoo, Frankie! <clears throat> I mean, how can you resist that face? <laughs> Fine. Come in, called Grandmother, and before she could say another word, the wolf... 
Where's the wolf? He's supposed to be on this page. Go get Wiener! Uh, <coughs> um, it's Einer. Einer, Wiener, whoever! Come on, Frankie. Let's go see where he is. Where's Wiener? Uh, a little problemo. Don't tell me. He is a vegetarian. Well, yes and no. Uh, he, he said he doesn't believe in solving problems by eating them. But the wolf gobbles up grandmother and... and the wolf should invite Granny to a ball. Uh, she should get out of bed, put on a pretty dress. I get gobbled! Just get wiener! <clears throat> the wolf poked through grandmother's wardrobe and put on a frilly sleeping cap. He dabbed grandmother's perfume behind his pointy ears. Not a good idea! I'm... I'm... Ah! <clears throat> Oof. Allergic to perfume. Stop! This story is in shambles. Uh, you know, we're a bit tired. Uh, let's take a five and eat those buns. I can't write. What was I thinking? Your ideas are much better than mine. Really? Daisies, lemon poppy cake, fairy godmothers. Kids love that stuff. Oh, I love that stuff too. Arnold, you should write the story. Just one itty bitty question. Can I be in it? I've never been in a story before. Once upon a time, in a meadow in Palm Springs, there lived a water buffalo named Eugene. He loved lemon poppy cake and shared with all of his friends. The, the end. end. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching Storytime Pals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.